Hey guys, happy Vlogmas. So this Vlogmas actually was supposed to go up yesterday, but I woke up at 3 a.m. and drove for 14 hours to get to Colorado, which is where I am right now. And I was depleted, exhausted, and just done. So I did not upload a Vlogmas for yesterday, but this is the Vlogmas that was meant to go up yesterday. And then from here on out, I'm just gonna continue uploading like normal. So I hope you guys enjoy. It never stops. That is quite literally the third very loud thing I've dropped very late at night. I also don't know why this has become a theme filming way later than I should be. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is currently 9.42 p.m. This video was on the spot basically. I definitely was not planning on filming this, but I've had a very long, hard, and stressful week. But anyway, I went to Walmart and Target, bought some nice goodies, and I thought why not treat myself to a spa night. Um, relax, unwind, and just enjoy a couple hours of peace and quiet and serenity. Oh God. And I'm literally sitting on my bathroom floor right now filming this. Doesn't get any better than this. Oh my God. Well, to start off the festivities, I thought shampoo and conditioner. Would you believe it if I told you I was out of both of these things and I've just been using whatever we have in our shower? I keep seeing all these TikTok videos of girls who have like a plethora of products, like drawers and cabinets full of products, like one of every scent from Bath and Body Works. Excessive, very excessive, but it's also made me realize there is more I could be doing for myself. I feel like I'm a very plain Jane. I just don't do enough to spoil myself. So I'm gonna spoil myself today. First off, my favorite shampoo and conditioner, the Biolage Matrix. I used to get the color treated one, but I don't dye my hair anymore. And I've come to find that just the bottom portion of my hair that is yellow and a uh, very faded blonde is dry, understandably. So I got the Hydrosource one. I got the shampoo and then I didn't just get the conditioner. I got the Ultra Conditioning Balm. So apparently it's supposed to be even more conditioning. So very excited for this. It's been too long. Next in my boxy charm this month, I got a radiance polishing mask from Yensa. It's a pumpkin turmeric mask and it has eight super orange essence, whatever that means. I thought I'd give my my skin a little treatment today, a little fun treat. It's like definitely too late to be filming this. Next, honestly, I'm like way too excited about this. I got pajamas and there was really no point in me buying these from Target because I wear the same thing every single night, which is a very oversized t-shirt and that's that. But it was just too cute not to, you guys. And it's gonna feel so good to get into this after I've done everything. It's just this cute little cropped tank top and some long pants. And I would definitely normally never go for the animal print, but but it's just so soft and something about this. I just wanted it, so I bought it. Yeah, the sad thing is the pajamas were way too big and I had to return them, so. Next, more scrunchies as if I needed more scrunchies. I have so many scrunchies. This is one of those scrunchies. I never use any other scrunchies now besides this pack. But I really just love them. So, no, it's a zip tie. You guys, look at my scrunchies. These ones are all furry. Let's go in. Mm -hmm. Feeling her tonight. We're gonna put her up. Oh my god, yes. See, what did I tell you guys? A messy bun is always the way to go. Next, I got new razors, and this might not seem that exciting to many people, but I'm very used to just like buying the like five pack of the disposable ones and using them until I absolutely can't do that anymore. And I also have a trouble distinguishing which one is which, meaning that I have a separate razor for my bikini girl area and for my legs because that would not be hygienic to use the same razor for both. And then I always forget which is which. So we treated ourselves ladies. First off, for my lady bits, I got the Hydro Silk Sensitive Care Hydro Boost Five Blade Razor. Now I like to use men's razors, but this just, it got me, it did. And it's sensitive, which is always a good thing for that area. You know, this razor sucked. Sorry to say it, this razor was not it. So I ended up going back and getting the next razor I'm gonna show you, but in yellow. Next, Joy. I keep seeing this thing everywhere and I have the Flamingo, but I just 
didn't really care to buy like more cartridges. There's kind of no point in me buying this, but I even want an Amazon and this was the top rated one on Amazon too. So I got the pink one for my legs and the blue one for my leg bits. Next, shaving cream. I'm so cheap when it comes to this kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed for myself. I literally just use the men's like sensitive skin shaving cream, the one that's like $1.90. But I thought again, I would treat myself and go after something a little bit more exotic, okay? This is the Aveeno Therapeutic Shave Gel. It helps prevent razor bumps and it soothes dry sensitive skin. It's also dermatologist recommended. As we all know, I have eczema, so Aveeno is a brand that I trust very well, and this is for sensitive skin, so I thought we would go a little bit um, higher in price. This was $3 instead of the $1.98 that I'm used to. Next, this purchase was purely because of TikTok. Now, I will be honest, I have used this product in the past quite a few times. This was one of my favorite products when I was in high school, but it's been quite a few years since I bought it, and this is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. It has been making its rounds on TikTok, and when I say this thing smells unbelievable this scent oh my god it's so good you guys this is the exotic bloom it reminds me of something that i really can't place like i can't tell you what it smells like but it's incredible and then last this was a very impulsive buy i had no reason to buy it but i wanted to be a girl and treat myself so this is the kiwi botanicals rinse away dry skin nourishing body conditioner they sell body conditioner now you guys so you're supposed to put it on like after you shaved and exfoliated and did your body wash and everything and you leave it on for a couple minutes then you rinse it off and it's almost like putting lotion on but you're in the shower so we'll see if this does any good after i exfoliate and shave and do all that fun stuff and yeah so that's my plan for this self-care night my plan now is to get into this big bathtub you see next to me light some candles pour a glass of wine and watch some youtube videos very fitting <laughs> and then after that i'm going to jump in the shower and have the absolute best shower of my life hands down we'll check in when i'm done For the mask it says to put a thin layer over a clean and damp skin and leave on for five to ten minutes i literally haven't even smelled this yet but it just it reminds me of halloween because it says pumpkin and it's orange oh whoa i was not expecting that oh it has such a weird consistency oh it's a jelly there's little like micro beads in it too that's nice it like warms up when you like rub it in and it smells just like a fall scented candle it literally smells like pumpkin turmeric and i'm not mad at it Perfect. For now, I'm gonna go get in the bath and relax for a minute. And upon finishing this video, I somehow managed to delete my outro. So this is just going to be the outro. If you guys liked today's vlogmas, please subscribe to my channel and join the family. Put on your notification bell so you are notified every time I do post a vlogmas and any other videos thereafter. Also head over to my Instagram because I am more active over there on a day-to-day -day basis. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlogmas.